Hello everybody, welcome back to Cracked Up Games, and welcome back to If on a Winter's Night for Travelers. Uh, here we are now in the third chapter, um, playing as... Is it Joseph Samuel? Is that his name? Oh, last name's Samuel. Um, hold on, let me check something real quick. Uh, okay, yeah, uh, give me just a second, the glare coming in through the window is starting to pick up. Alright, it's still there a little bit, but hopefully not as bad. I had this problem last year, too, with the glare just getting really obnoxious around this time. Alright, anyways, time to look around this room. Sometimes hear them talking of terrible places in my sleep. Who is them? I try to write down as much as I can when I wake up, but there is so much I am missing. A chapel in the wilderness, fire among the moaning trees, a fear, a dripping, dripping blade, the hateful whispers of the dead. A sunken library where memories are drowned and voices from the past echo in the darkness. What does it all mean? The neighbors again. Always the same fight against screaming. Yeah, I can hear that. This is the most complete treaty I found on the esoteric use of herbs and plants. This is the passage I need. The sun shines on the heliotrope. Mercury smells of fresh high sun. The visions of wormwood rule over Mars. Venus is the sweetness of the rose. Sage is the wisdom of Jupiter. The hemlock is Saturn's blessing. I think I have it memorized now. Okay. These are the ingredients I require for the first part of the ritual. I need to burn the appropriate herb in each bowl. But before I get started, I should bring Mr. Williams' morphine. It's probably in my jacket pocket. Okay. So what sort of ritual is he even doing? The Wound Man, an ancient medical illustration showing different types of injuries and diseases. This one has some particularly interesting notes. The sun rules the intellect, Venus makes the heart yearn, Mercury is the hand in darkness, Mars wields the sword, Jupiter hungers for power and casts Saturn's genitals into the sea. Oh, okay. I will need this later. Okay, so a lot of stuff about the planets, and relatedly, here's an astral chart. The stars are right, Mars, Venus, and Saturn are aligned tonight. After months of enduring their mockery with fists and teeth clenched, after months of study and discipline, the moment has arrived. The moment to reach out to forces beyond this world. It is a lower magical process to make the guardian of the threshold physically visible by producing a particular mixture of a number of substances. A truly terrible spectral being confronts the magician and he will need all the presence of mind and faith in the security of his path. Seek not, then, to cross this threshold until thou dost feel thyself entirely free from fear and ready for the highest responsibility. Okay. Uh, anything else in here? Yes. What was that? Oh, okay. Fiery summons? Hmm. <laughs> Sidkova's Forbidden Opus in six volumes. This is the passage I need. The sun burns in golden flames. A violet mantle shall devour Mercury. Cast ye the symbol of Venus onto flames of emerald, and engulf in crimson all that belongs to Mars. A raging azure inferno for Jupiter, a black grave for Saturn. I think I have it memorized now. Alright, so it's like herbs, colors, and positions or something are the like relevant bits of information. My ritual dagger. I will need it later. Okay, yep, that makes it sound like this is going to end about how I expected it to. An iron bowl covered in red rust. Copper bowl, green from corrosion. A bowl of black lead. If I perform the ritual correctly, the guardian should manifest himself in the mirror. If I face him with courage, he shall grant me power beyond all imagining. But if there is fear in my heart, well, I have nothing to lose anyway. I am afraid of sleeping, because the nightmares... There's a spot in my heart that's becoming a part of my New York. Sigh. I truly thought things would be different here. 
Alright, so jacket pocket. I should take it to him before I get started. My career at the hospital is already on shaky ground. The last thing I need is to be caught taking supplies home. But his tuberculosis is terminal, and this is the only thing that can grant him some relief at this point. Okay, so he actually has been taking supplies, but to actually help a patient. Anything else in here I may have missed? No. Alright, so apartment B3. Johnsons are always fighting. One of these days it will end in tragedy. I tried intervening once, but they almost beat me up. Some things never really change, even here. Okay, got a leak here. What is this that's even leaking? Apartment B1, is this where I need to go? Walk cycle's a little strange. Good evening, Mrs. Williams. Dr. Samuels, I'm so glad to see you. I was worried you wouldn't come. I apologize. I got held up at the hospital today. How was he doing? Not good. Not good, doctor. He can't barely breathe no more. And that cough, it ain't never been this bad before. Do you think he's... I am so sorry, Mrs. Williams. I wish I could do something. Despite all the medical advances of our era, consumption is a battle we've yet to win. But this will help with the pain, at least. Thank you, Dr. Samuels. Bless your soul. Thank you. No need to thank me, Mrs. Williams. It is my sacred duty. Go to him now. He needs you. Yes, yes, of course. Thank you so much. Good night, Dr. Samuels. Bless you. Okay, anything else out here I can examine? Got an achievement for that. These stairs lead up onto the street. I have nothing to do out there. The ritual awaits. So, the herb jars? Alright, I can begin the final preparations now. I don't know what I need. I, I didn't actually click anything. Alright, hold on. Nope, that's... No. Help! Okay, there. I can right click. Memorize the past. Okay. So... Alright, hold on. Is this Mars, Venus, and Saturn? Okay. Okay, so wormwood for Mars. No, stop that. And it's the Red Bull. Okay. Okay, so I don't need that yet. So wormwood. In the iron bowl. Let's see, next is Venus, is Rose, and that's in the green bowl. Saturn. Hemlock. In the lead bowl. Elements are aligned. Now I must mark my skin with blood. One small cut in each spot shall suffice. Alright, Saturn was the groin, but what were the others? Okay, Mars wields the sword. I don't know what that means. Venus makes the heart. Here, so Mar Venus is the heart. Mars wields the sword. I don't know what that means. Sword is not a part of the anatomy. And Saturn is genitals. Um, yeah, I don't know what to do for Mars. Okay, 
Okay, so hold on. Chest for Venus. Ow. Right, hold on. It's the hand in darkness, Mars wields the sword. So would Mars be the left hand then? Because that's the hand that he's holding the dagger with? Also interesting note that Dr. Samuels is apparently left-handed. Left hand... No, my hand is... The... 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 what? The hand? Okay, the right hand. Why the right hand? Me. So that should be it, right? Oh no, I have to do the chest again, which is weird. Ow. It's time to enter the circle. What is this? This is not what I expected. Am I meant to cross over? Go to him? So be it then. Audentis Fortuna, Fortuna Ivat. Uh, I don't really understand Latin. I know Fortuna is like fortune or luck, but I don't know what those other two words mean. What the world? Where am I? Is this really the other side? And that, that must be the guardian at long last. I must remain calm and focused. I have prepared myself for this moment. I am worthy. Yeah, but like, I want to look at other stuff. The light is sickening. Nobody has slept here in a very long time. These look like notes. Is this my handwriting? How can this be? I do not remember ever writing this. I have given my memories away to the waters. I barely remember who I am. My soul is a scorched, blackened stump, all my acts of kindness undone. I do not know what they will demand of my body. I fear this has all been for nothing, but I cannot turn back now. God help me if he still remembers my name. Strange. Wound man, the moment has come. O oh, great keeper of the gates, guardian of the threshold, I beseech thee, hear my plea. I have opened the way, I face thee without fear. Yeah, like threw up. Soil, bitter, blood, void, price. Putrid, rotten, price, price, taken, scorn, price. Failed, trapped, flesh, unworthy, unworthy, unworthy. Jordan Samuels, that is his name. <sighs> Fortunately, he seems to be seeking revenge. My name is Jordan Samuels. I seek revenge. Teach me the lessons of wrath that I might humiliate my enemies. Scorn, blood, void, empty, spill, price. Adversary, flesh, sacrifice, blood, blade, blood. I, I do not understand. According to my books, he should speak clearly and distinctly and offer counsel and guidance. Whatever this creature is, it is not the Guardian. What am I meant to do now? Where am I? What is this place? Present other same crossroad yesterday. Er, yeah, yes, yesterday? Maybe, I don't know. Together. All converge time possibilities tomorrow. Both. I can barely make sense of this gibberish. A crossroad? Is that what this place is? Some sort of limbo? Why is the Guardian not here? I 
carried out every step of the ritual to summon his physical form. What else do I need to do? Sacrifice all, burn, erase, price, tribute, mind, purpose, flesh, sacrifice, soul. Not one enough, only one failure. This makes no sense. None of the texts I read mention something like this. Who art thou then? Speak thy name. Threw up again. Once, ever, Jordan, trapped, always, doctor, together. Gone, scalpel, was. Both unworthy Samuels, we. Trapped, punish, both, ever, punish, flesh. Madness, I am Jordan Samuels, me, vile creature, trickster. <laughs> I am wasting my time. I will not get any answers here. I need to try to make sense of all this. Oh god, the mirror is breaking. Looks like there's no going back through here. It's the scribbles again, but... Okay, yes, there's all that. Can't go back through the mirror, but oh wait. Okay. There was a passage in the book. Little mind the darkness ahead of thee, take not a single step forward until thou art positive that thou hast sufficient oil in thine own lamp. The lamps of the guides whom thou hast hitherto followed will not now no longer be available to thee. The light seems to be keeping him alive, taking it away might kill him. It is my craving for revenge that has brought me here. This fire is mine. It belongs to me. Nothing shall stand in my way, not even myself. I shall not waver. I shall not fail. Okay, so what to do now? Ah, okay, there's a doorway. Oh boy, this is weird. The Johnsons. Something terrible happened here. It's like a heart on the wall. Mrs. Williams, is that you? Are you alright? Oh god, you monster! You killed him, you monster! I cannot let this get to me. It is a test. Just a test. I did what I had to. That's an ulcer. Dear lord, is it alive? The stairs. They no longer go up to the street, but downwards. What is going on here? This is fascinating and strange. Cannot see anything ahead. It looks like a dead end. But it has to be this way. There's nowhere else to go. Eeh. Goop. Books? There are books and loose pages floating in the water. Where could they have come from? Is there anything back here? Doesn't look like it. Lots of books in the water, jeez. Uh, where'd you go? It's a bookshelf. I recognize these bookshelves. I've seen this place before, in dreams. I was lost in a maze of corridors, trying to find something. But I cannot remember what or why. Most of these books are moldy and rotten, but some of them are in surprisingly good condition. Classic romantic novels by Shakespeare, Stendhal, Dumas, Calvino? I have never heard of him. Is that like a hint or something? I don't know who Calvino would be. Don't know if that's like a reference to something. And by the titles, they appear to be the music monographs and biographies of famous composers. God. 
another creature? It is not acknowledging me. Does it not know why I'm here? Does it simply not care? Should I try making my presence known? Librarian? Here, my name is Jordan Samuels. I have walked these aisles in dreams. Art thou the keeper of this place? It's paying me no heed. I don't think it is listening to me. There seems to be something else. What is it writing? A memory of Jordan Samuels, born April 27th, 1897. A memory of Dr. Samuels, field medic. A memory of Jordan, loving betrothed. Memory of that darky down the street. Memory of Mr. Samuels, music aficionado. That is me. That is my life. So, loving the betrothed? So, he had a wife at some point? What happened to her? I can barely make these out. Most of them don't even have titles. They look like diaries and manuscripts. This place feels odd, beyond or old, beyond words. Whispers. They seem to be coming from this corridor. Do I want to go down here? Humidity and mold have damaged them beyond recognition. Have these been drafts of stories? Last wills? Confessions, maybe? Whispers are coming from this book. There's a note inside, and not any note. That note. Furiously scribbled threats slipped into my mailbox one night. Always the stares, the murmurs uttered under their breath, or the jeers and the scoffs if they felt courageous enough. I can feel my blood boil just looking at it. Is this what it wants, to remind me why I am doing this, to strengthen my resolve? This must mean something. I have to bring it back to that creature. Stacks and stacks of loose pages, most of them handwritten, but some are tight. Pretty good, he can tell all that from a glance. It wants the book. Yes, it ate it. What am I doing here? Was I not. I was holding. Was I carrying something? Or perhaps it was that dream so much like this place. And was this creature there too? What does it want? Should I try talking to it? So it's like it just completely ate the memory of that letter or something. That's very weird. It's paying me no attention whatsoever. It looks like it's trying to hear something else. Okay, so is there another book somewhere? This way? Hearing crying. These all look like children's books, bedtime stories, fables, fairy tales. Child rearing manuals. Most of these seem to be quite modern. Did Dr. Samuels have a kid? These all look like. Okay, that's the same as the one before. Yep. Children's folk stories. I recognize some of these titles. Tales of Anansi, The Adventures of Rare Rabbit, All the Pretty Little Horses. These seem to be photo albums rather than books. There are some framed photographs lying around too. They all feature babies and young infants. This one is coming from inside the photo album. This, this is my family. Grandparents, father, aunts, mother. This baby she is holding must be me. But I've never seen this photograph before. What is it doing here? I should bring this book back to the creature. Maybe it was guiding me to it for some reason. Okay, so it's a memory of his health as a child. So it gets, is it gonna eat that too? Is it gonna like eat his childhood? It wants the book. Yeah, that's gross. What am I doing here? Was I not I was holding, was I carrying something? Okay, yeah, so same words as before. Okay, so there's another book somewhere? This way, maybe? <laughs> oh, 
hearing music. Music is very close though. There must be a gramophone hidden somewhere. Okay. So it's not this way. There's a bookshelf about like composers and stuff over this way. Make out some tomes on Baroque and classical music and some titles in Arabic. Oh, here it is. No, this one? In music monographs? Hang on. It's somewhere around here because the black lines are coming up. no gramophone. The music's coming from inside this book. Sheet music for Fritz Kreisler's Liebeslied. Of course it is. Yeah, I received the acceptance letter from the Chicago College of Medicine and Surgery. I borrowed a tuxedo, spent too much money on a fancy concert, drank too much wine afterwards. It did seem back then like I was destined for great things. But why this? Why now? Why am I even here to start this? Maybe if I take this book back to that creature, I'll get some answers. Okay. So what is actually happening here? God, that's so gross. And again, he forgot about the book. listening to something. There was the path to the southeast down here. So maybe it's over here somewhere. It sounds as if a battle was taking place right here, but I see nothing except books. I barely read any titles on this shelf. The books are caked in dried blood. To look for one that just says bookshelf. These are all about the Great War diaries, maps, field reports. Okay, okay. It's coming from this book here. A map. Session from September 1980. Called us the Harp Hellfighters that village while bombs rained on us like fire from the sky. We took so many casualties that day that we were taken off the line the very next day. So many of us never went back home. For better or for worse, the things I saw there made me who I am today. This cannot be a coincidence. The creature clearly wanted me to find it. Alright, so he was a soldier then. Eighteen, so would that have been World War One? Right. Yeah, so it's like each time that you bring a book, he says less and less. Alright, so there's one more book somewhere. This way, maybe? I will say this part's a little bit tedious. Because just walking around and just repeatedly finding books. Here we go. Who is that? It sounds more and more familiar the closer I get. It's coming from this book. There's a letter inside. This envelope, this handwriting, I don't even need to open it. I'm sorry, Eunice, you deserved so much more. New York felt like the place I needed to be after the war. I was so wrong, I wish I could undo all the pain I caused you. Alright, so I guess after the war he left his wife and went to New York? 
don't know why he couldn't just take her with him. It's kind of weird. Oh yeah, all the memories on the scroll have been disappearing. I just realized that. Oh god! Oh! Okay, what is happening? Where am I? How did I get here? I can't remember anything. Who... Who am I? Yeah, so it's like been eating his memories. Dear Lord, what happened here? Shell crater. Crater and dead soldier's remains. Did a battle take place here? Soldier's corpse. Where have I seen this banner before? It looks so familiar. It's like a makeshift infirmary. I am somehow familiar with these kids. The bell tower has been blown to smithereens. This place must have sustained a terrible bombing. Bloodied white sheet is covering a body. Bloody sheets and what seem to be corpses. This must be an improvised field hospital. There's some dirty rain water pulled up in the basin. Like Reverend Williams was... Is that Mr. Williams? Confessional is still standing. How is this possible? Dr. Samuels, welcome to the Chapel Paris. I have been waiting for you. Do I know you? Apologies, I seem to have... What did you call me? It's alright. I know what you've done. It's all gone now. Your name. But yes, you do know me. You did a good thing for me, Holmes. Did I? Yes, and never for a moment did you hesitate. You took the fire of divinity into your hands, and acted with the certainty of a thunderbolt. Life and death lay bare before you. Such a sight to behold. That sounds arrogant of me. It was not your arrogance, but your kindness. You suffered with me, and my pain was yours. With the soul of yours, this kindness, you would need it for another purpose. This fire must be wielded again. The Guardian? Ah, uh, you still remember. Yes, the Guardian, like the texts say. I must become a perfect and glorious being or fall a prey to corruption. And should this occur, I would drag thee also down with me into a dark and corrupt world. And you do also remember what brought you here, don't you? Yes, I came here seeking revenge. Yes, and yet it is also said that my threshold is fashioned out of all the dread of the strength needed to take full responsibility for all thy thoughts and actions. Years, many years ago, you did not take full responsibility for your thoughts and actions. This has been a burden. Today you must free yourself of this burden of bygone lives. Look, look around you. You abandoned these men. You left them to suffer and die in great pain and agony. You were young then. You didn't know better. Now is the time to rectify that. Free them, Dr. Samuels, like you freed me. And I'll hear your confession once your dues are paid. Gauze bandage is covering his eyes. Good lord, his hands. Only an explosion could have done this. He seems to be in shock. Soldier, can you hear me? My name is... I... I am a doctor. 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 Not here. Left. He left. Not here. He's been blinded by shrapnel. His hands have been blown off almost completely and he is delirious with fever. Without antibiotics, he will surely die in a matter of hours or days if he is unfortunate. He's holding onto a pillow, grabbing it with all his strength. The pain must be unbearable. What is your name, soldier? Sleep. If I could just sleep. Doctor said he'd make me sleep. He said he would. He would come back, help me sleep. But he left. He left. Shh. Shh. Okay, so it looks like Dr. Samuel's abandoned them. Might be something useful here. 
jar with some opium pills. Eight, maybe ten. They must have been here for a very long time. Opium and tablet form is not very common anymore. That is the case, they have probably lost a great deal of their potency. I need to use all of them if I want to. Why do I remember all this? Need to find some. Okay, so. Some water will help him swallow the pills, but I need a container of some sort. Container? I think the bell would help. <laughs> Alright, let me go around and talk to the others first. Half his jaw has been shot off. He's alive somehow, but barely conscious. I'll not be able to swallow these pills in this condition. He's also bleeding from his stomach, but this is not a gunshot. He must have crooked when he was shot and fallen on a piece of metal or a fence. Ow! I cannot even begin to imagine his agony. He is wearing an ammo belt. Maybe there is some ammunition left in it. But I will not take it and leave him like this. I need to find a way to help him first. I am sorry, I have been told what I did, even though I cannot remember. But I will not walk away this time. Man, this guy has no legs. Well, if it isn't Dr. Jordan Samuels himself. So I have been told, but I have no memory of my name or what I did to get here. Do I know you? Oh, I do know you. Yes, Doctor, I remember you. I can't ever forget you been here so many times. I've done this so many times. Over and over, waiting here, hoping that you will bring me a bullet so I can blow my effing brains out. And you just walk away every time. You walk away saying you will help me and you never look back. I'm sorry. I'm so very sorry. I cannot remember any of these things. You're always sorry, Doctor. Have you talked to Shane this time? Quite the nervous fella, ain't he? So that's the one up there that had his hands blown off. He remembers everything, over and over. He just wants to sleep, the poor guy, but he can't forget you either. And Jim? Seen him yet? Doesn't talk much, that one. Only moans sometimes, when he's unlucky enough to drift back to the surface. I'm sure he remembers too. I'm sure in that blackness of his there's a name echoing again and again. His legs. He must have stepped on a landmine. Please, soldier, hand me over that gun. I promise I will help you. Wouldn't you like for me to do that again? Not a chance, Doctor. Give me a bullet and I'll take care of it myself. And what is your name? Name's Luke, Doc. Lucky Luke, they used to call me. Not anymore, I guess. <laughs> oh, wait. Luke, I... Say, Doc, what do you think will get me first? The gangrene or the infection? Just kidding. I already know. It has happened so many times. It's always the same way. Not gonna be any different now, is it? Jeez. Alright, so I need to find some kind of container. Okay, so I can't go back. There's nothing left of use there. Can I talk to Shane? No. Confessional? No? Oh wait, a flask? This that looks like a flask. Where is oh there? I barely noticed that. Jeez. Empty canteen. Alright, so now I can get the water and help Shane. This will have to do. Here, soldier, you can sleep now. I'm sorry for having kept you here so long. Oh, jeez. Farewell. I hope the pain is finally over. 
Oh boy. So I know what this is coming. You will no longer need this. Oh. Sorry about literally everything, Jim. It is time to go home, soldier. Jeez. That seems a bit excessive. I can take these bullets now. <laughs> okay, bud. Goodbye, Jim. And then Luke. I found what you wanted. <laughs> I'll be darned. Thank you, Doctor. Never thought the day would come. Now you might want to step back a bit. Oh, jeez. This game just gets more and more brutal with each chapter, doesn't it? Hope you found your peace at last. Alright, now to the confessional. It is not. I'm ready, Reverend. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Is there anything you wish to confess? I don't know. I... I just killed three men. I should feel something. Relief, guilt, horror, pride, anything. But the only thing I feel is empty, hollowed out. I'm so tired. How long has this been going on? How long have I been here? Worry not, you've done well. How? What does that mean? Doesn't matter now, you're almost there, Doctor. There's but one more trial ahead of you, and you shall finally come face to face with the Guardian. But what is the point? I remember nothing, not even who I was. What will I ask? What do I want? You need only remember this. You created the Guardian the first time you ever made a choice. You've been feeding him ever since, with every action, every decision. Every act of charity, every lustful thought, every life saved. Everything you are, he is too. If your soul is corrupt, so is he. And everything you've given up, you'll need to take back from him. Only after confronting him will you be able to cross the threshold. But, fear not, you will understand soon enough. Now, go. Oh god, okay, back in the nightmares. Dr. Samuel, so glad you made it. The boys and I have been waiting for you. You must be so excited, oh, to cross the threshold at last. You have given so much, so much. But let's not waste time, shall we? I think you know what to do by now. Oh, no, no, don't bother. There is nothing left of you but flesh. We are your voice now, and you shall speak only through us. Now pay attention. I have given my mind to the waters. Repeat now, Doctor. So I have given it's down here my mind to the waters. Excellent. Peel back the first layer now. And listen, listen carefully. Okay, so next is I have consigned my soul to the flames. Repeat, Doctor. Okay, so it's the same ones, but the order changes. Consigned my soul to the flames. Good, good. Now, the second layer. Take that scalpel and go ahead. Go ahead. Do it. Do it now. Eesh. Oh, God. Now listen once more. I now surrender my flesh to the blade. Repeat, Doctor. Excellent, excellent! Now, the retractor. Stretch the 
skin open the yawning gate the hungry void awaits Ugh. gross now listen one last time and I offer my blood to the mirror repeat doctor repeat Yes, yes, you know what to do. You know what to do. Open the threshold. Open the path to the Guardian. Become the empty yawning void. Oh, God. Oof. That's gruesome. Oof. What am I doing? I am back. Oh, it's him with the mask. What is this? Oh, so he became the guardian. Ah, oh, the hollow one. At last. Feels like I've been stuck here for an eternity. Very well then. Let us get this over with. Exist no more now. Oh god. Yes, yes, at last. What is actually going on here? Oh, there's the invitation. Time to get out of here. Is this everything we are then? I remember nothing after that. Gasp. Well, that's quite a story. The question is, where are we now? What if this is yet another test? For me. For all of us. I don't know what happened there. That was very, very bizarre. Oh my, what an idea. Look around you, Dr. Samuels. The only thing that has been put to the test here is how many glasses of champagne one can drink. Layla, can I have a word? <sighs> okay, so it is an old lady. Please excuse me, if you will. As I was saying... Say, is it getting hot here? It does feel like it. Oh, hello, flame-headed person. Can you disappear? What are you doing mingling with the humans? Are you tricking them again into telling you their stories? You know I can't help it. And you know it's not allowed. What do you find so fascinating about them anyway? I don't know. I wonder how it feels for them, I guess. The pain, the constant struggle, dying alone and forgotten, by their own hand even. We can't mingle and we can't allow ourselves to... Wait, what did you mean by that? By what? By their own hand even. If that's true, they should be at the back of the train. What are they doing here? I don't know. They just told me. You heard. No, there's something else here. Don't... Don't tell me you invited them personally. Please, don't tell any... You gave them masks. You sent invitations. You collected them. I... You can't do this. They were meant for below. You know how strict the numbers are. Are you insane? They, these ones deserved it. You should have heard what they went through. That is not your call to me. I know. I'm really sorry. It won't happen again, I swear. Oh, for the glory of... All right. All right. I won't say anything, but please don't do this ever again. They were meant for below. We're still going below, just a little less deep for them. Eligible for the redemption lottery every 144,000 years, even. Maybe never. Still a better chance than what they had up there. Please, I just wanted to hear their stories. Layla, Layla. You're going to get us sent to the swamps one day. Oh, was... that was it? Okay. 
See, I, I really don't know what happened to Dr. I didn't expect this to be the last chapter. All right. Um, yeah, I don't know what happened to Dr. Samuels. Um, I wish I knew a little bit more when it comes to, like, kind of, like, the culture around, like, black magic, rituals, um, astrology, stuff like that, because my best guess on what actually happened is that basically he went into essentially a drug trip from the like herbs and stuff that he was pretty much hallucinating all of that and like all of his regrets and stuff and ended up killing himself for what he perceived as the ritual um because i realized that with carlo and vivian and the end part of the cycles, like when they got the invitations and stuff, they were both transparent, which means at that point they had already died when they even received the invitations. They'd already been dead. Um, so yeah, as you can see at the end there, the train, like I theorized, was basically like the afterlife. It's them taking their path to their final destination. Um, don't know exactly who the flame-headed dude was supposed to be there, uh, but yeah. Overall, this game was interesting. Um, brutal and very, very dark, but it was fascinating overall. Um, yeah, I did get a comment about how the last chapter goes off the rails, and I could definitely see that, because again, the part with Dr. Samuels was very confusing compared to the first two chapters. Um, but I guess that's If on a Winter's Night for Travelers. If you liked the video, if you, I hope you all enjoyed the series, and I guess now I need to figure out what to play next after this. Um, if you liked the video, consider leaving a like. If you have any suggestions on how I can improve or anything else you wish to share, consider leaving a comment. If you like what I do and want to see more videos, then consider subscribing so you don't miss an upload. Until then, I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.